There we are. Started over? Is that what it is? All right. Um, this morning I wanted to talk to you guys about about the simple life and, and and some of the decisions that I made regarding my own life and the changes that I made or the changes that I'm attempting to make and, and why I did this. But um, a very long time ago when I was young, my grandmother and my mom, right, they they encouraged me to be the person that I wanted to be. Right? And I grew up with these ideas in my mind, you know what I'm saying? That and, and, and I was a curious child because my mom used to my mom was the artist of the family. She was a painter. She used to take me we used to go out into the desert when I was little and she would sit there with her easel and her paint and she would paint and I would wander around in the desert exploring things and, and she always encouraged me to do whatever she I mean there was only I only had one rule and that one rule was don't get bit by a rattlesnake. Other than that I, I could fuck with anything I wanted, I could do anything I wanted, I could, you know, play with anything I wanted. And so I, I grew up a curious person and and, and if if you guys knew my anonymous friend, he, he would agree with me. He would he would look you in the eye and he would say, Yeah, he's a dickhead, he's an asshole, he's a fucking monkhead. But he is a curious individual and he does have some genuine ideas about things. Otherwise he wouldn't be with me. But I mean there's there's some simple facts, you know what I'm saying, that, that I know, right, regarding the person that I am and why I am this way. Now, let's flash forward a few years. Uh, when I was in my 30s, I was I was a vastly different individual. But I was mean. I was a son of a bitch, and I was just in general just a bad person. But I did a lot of bad things, and said that I probably can never atone for, right, and never make up for. But but now in my later on in my life, you know what I'm saying? I I can change the way that I think about it, and I could change the way that I act, and and I could be a better person. Now, I've been trying to do this since, since like I was about 45 or 47 or something like that, 48. Right? I've, I've actively changed my life to the point where I am a good person. I don't, I don't no longer do shit just because I want to do it. Right? I don't no longer do shit to people just because I want to. Now, I, now I've, I've, I've come full circle and I've become that person that my grandmother and that my mother wanted me to be. Right? And the simple that has returned to me. But now this this whole thing about being vegan and, and thinking correctly and being forthright and being an honest person is not something new to me. It's just I, I've always been polite. I've always been courteous. Right? I've always been I've always been an outgoing type of person, a people person, some people call it. Where where you know I, I I apologize, you know what I'm saying, I have manners, you know what I'm saying? I I, I think about things before I do them. Some people will say that I don't think at all, that I just, I just react. But this is not true, you know what I'm I, I do, inside my brain here, I do think about things. I do think about the way that it affects other people around me. And I think about how it affects my friends. And, and a lot of times, I, I don't say anything, or, or I keep my tongue. And I hold silent, because I don't want to either A, hurt their feelings, or B, perturb them, or C, fucking piss them off, because what I'm thinking is directly goes against what it is that they want to do, or, or, or what I decided in my own mind, you know what I'm saying, isn't exactly, you know what I'm saying, the way that they, they want to see things happen. Right, so, I, I tend to hold my tongue. But, well, because of who I am, and because of the way I grew up, and because of all a bunch of other contributing factors, you know what I'm saying? I'm slowly starting to become the person that I was before, but now older with a little bit more experience and a little bit more, a little bit more life experience under my belt, right? I, I've learned that being a forthright person, I've learned this on this journey actually, that being a forthright person, right, is the way that we're supposed to be. It was the way that the gods intended us to be. Because of our society and the way the way things are now and Facebook and Google Plus and and all this other fucking bullshit that, that, that tends to weigh in and weigh people down and, and create these these fake fucking scenarios and these these hollow lives and, and all this other bullshit that these people that most people are trapped in. I mean they, 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 they get up in the morning and they rush around and they eat breakfast and they slam coffee and they do all this book shit and they dress perfectly and they jump in the car and they run out to work. Just sit there and stare at their computer all day long. 
and then when, when work's over, they run out, they run into the bathroom, they kick all their cells, they kick all their shit, they make sure they got all their shit in their purse, in their bag, they run out to the fucking parking garage, they jump in the car, they race home, they beep the horn in the meantime, they yell and they scream fucking everybody else in their car to get home to stare at the television. And they're happy. They think they're happy. They think they're happy because they're, they're making enough money to pay for all of this fucking shit. But you know what? Somebody made a comment on one of my videos asking me, asking me to make a video of everything that I own. But you know what? They're looking at it. They're looking at it. That bag of dirty clothes right there, that blue bag, this tire, this bicycle, this mat, a backpack, a sleeping bag, and the clothes that I'm wearing, this army bag, and I think they wanted to see it down as a this pencil. This water bottle. Down as a mm. pencil. Oh, oh I'm going to. I'm going to make that video. But but basically, in general, that's everything I own. And you want to know something stupid? This is probably the happiest I've ever been in my life. It's not because I don't any, own anything. It's not because I'm not responsible for anything. I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for the life of this fool right here. Right? Just as much as he's responsible for my foolish life. Right? Now, that's a huge responsibility. I don't know, we had a good time in the bush. This we had less shit then. We got, yeah, we didn't, we didn't do, we're getting a lot of shit done now. Right? You know what I'm saying? We're in a company so, from that bush. Yeah. So, yeah, we made a lot of money in that fucking tree. <laughs> but now, ordering my life around and changing my life to suit the needs that we have now, right? To to make this adventure successful for us, right? It's not something. It's not something that I entered into lightly. I fought against this for months. For months, I fought against this. I fought against this for for many reasons that I thought were valid at the time. But now that I look back, and now that that I thought about as we were riding over the mountain, and I was cussing at myself, bitching at myself, why the fuck did I decide to do this? But I slowly, every step along the way, every pedal, every pedal revolution, every fucking, every piece of glass or fucking piece of metal that I rode around on the highway, or every time a fucking highway patrolman passed by me, and said, I was, oh man, they're gonna fucking come and get us and tell us we can't do this, right? And with every one of those, my convictions got stronger, right? And now, right, when I look back upon it, it was, it was foolish, it was a useless endeavor to try to fight against this because this was the natural evolutionary right, progression that, that I needed to fucking do. I needed to do this. I didn't, I, it just, it's not that I wanted to, it's just that my non oh, no, It hasn't been months though, remember? I told you we should do something like this two years ago, three years ago, and mm -hmm. you said no. I'm not riding my bike that far. Yeah, because I thought, I thought Margaret loved me. Because I thought that me and Margaret were going to be forever, like she said. Right? Had, little did I know, you know what I'm saying, that she had been plotting and scheming against me my whole, you know, the whole time. Right? But anyways. Right? So here we are now. Right? And the simple life, I've said this already before, the simple life has returned to me. Right? I mean, we, was, we were arguing about this last night, about, about being an artist. Right? And, and I told my friend, I said, it's not, it's, it's I've, you've just never seen anything that I've ever done because I haven't done anything in 15 years. 15 years I haven't done fuck. I haven't made any, any mirrors. I haven't made any fucking, I haven't done any pottery. I haven't done any paintings. I mean, I've done a few line drawings and a few scribbles and I've etched a few glass bottles, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything of value. I haven't done anything, you know what I'm saying, artistic. Man, I wish we would get a video of that one artistic piece when you cut the cord off the dremel. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, I right, zapped myself. But you know what I'm saying? It's simply because I've, I've, I've been involved in a bunch of foolishness that, that took away from who I was. It didn't add to who I was. It took away from who I was. Right, so now, after pretty smoking, right? Pretty much, pretty much I have to quit smoking. I, I still smoke fucking, you know, Whenever I find a little pouch of blunt tobacco that somebody took the wrapper off of, I got my little tobacco pipe that I made. That I pack it full and you know smoke a bowl or two a day, you know maybe three. Right? You see, not his friend is—he's not really down with that, but but that's 
stop it in his own words, it's better than fucking smoking the goddamn poison that they fucking sell in the little square packs for $20. Yeah, at least it's not butts. Yeah, yeah, it's not butts, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't spray all of that shit on the, on the pipe, on the cigar tobacco. But anyways, and since I've stopped eating meat, and yes, it's been a week now, huh? Mm-hmm. It's been a whole solid week, seven days, stopped eating meat, been eating vegan, I've right? been eating fucking glucose bars, Right? Been drinking gallons of water every day, drinking rocket fuel, right? You know what I'm saying? And working and exercising my brain and exercising my body, riding my bike and thinking. Not not complaining and saying I have to get off the computer every 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not complaining, not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Just doing what I need to do. Look Just tell him you couldn't. You used to tell him you couldn't sit at the computer more than an hour. More than an hour, I couldn't. Now, right. last night, dude. Uh, I sat there willingly, and I didn't even realize what time it was until my friend told me, Hey man, we gotta roll it up, you're gonna close the fuck place pretty soon. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, really? It's, we've been here three hours already. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, you can get immersed in what you're doing, because you have yeah. the energy. Because I had the energy and I had the brain again. I had the brain, almost, almost again. I had the brain to do it again. And his memory's even starting to work a little bit. Right. He can remember more than 20 minutes ago. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> but what actually happened is I could get it right. You know what I'm saying? But and that just proves that there wasn't anything wrong with you. It was your diet and your lifestyle. Yes, my diet and my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Now, and and this, this this is the craziest part. This is the craziest part to me, right? It's just the simple little changes. It wasn't drastic. It wasn't. I I, I didn't have to fucking just cut my wrists and fucking bleed myself like they did back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, it, it, it almost seems like I blinked my eyes a couple of times, I made a conscious decision, I've stuck to my guns, and here I am. And I don't look any different, I don't sound any different, I don't act any different, right? You know what I'm saying? On the outside, on the inside, but on the outside, I do. On the outside, I'm more forthright, I'm more honest. I'm mean, saying, yeah, yeah, I still get irritated, and yes, I still get pissed off, but that's simply because I'm 58 years old and I come from a different generation. And nowadays, people do idiotic stuff. I mean, come on. There was a lady, two, this was two days ago, in the parking lot over at Trader Joe's. There was me and my novice friend in our bicycles. There was a lady next to us in the car. There was a lady walking through the parking lot. And there was a lady backing out of, there was a lady backing out of a parking spot. Well, there was this crazy woman in this little blue car, right, that just had to have that parking spot. And no matter what anybody said, what anybody did, as soon as the woman backed out, she zipped right in there, cut off my friend, damn near ran over the lady in the car, you know what I'm saying? And then once she got in there, she, she was in such a hurry that she got so, she was parked so crooked that she had to back out and straighten herself out. Well, when she backed out, the woman that was walking behind her with her little dog, she damn near, she came within of running her and the little dog over while I'm yelling at her, hey, there's somebody behind you. She didn't even blink. Pulled her car right in, jumped out, slammed the door, ran through, didn't say nothing to none of us, put her nose up in the fucking air and just walked straight through, no matter what anybody said, and went into the store. She could have hurt any one of the four of us. She could have hurt herself, she could have damaged her car, she could have killed the little doggy. She didn't give a fuck. And there's signs all over the parking lot saying that they're not responsible for damage to cars in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. Oh, it pissed me smooth off. And then she, she got in the store before us. Yes. It pissed me smooth off. But I wasn't angry for myself. I was angry for the lady and her little doggy, and for my anonymous friend, and for the other lady in the car. But you see, these new convictions that I've come to, or actually haven't come to, who I've come full circle back to, you know what I'm saying? Right? Have put me in a better place in my own life now, where I know. It's not that I think I can do something now, it's not that I want to do something now. It's now, I know I'm going to do it. I've told you guys this a couple of times now in videos. You want to do something with your life? Don't just sit in your chair and say, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, Brian, you encourage me. Yeah, you're an inspiring individual. Hey, I already know this. Right? Inspire me. 
right? Motivate me. Go out there and post a video on your channel that does something cool, that shows something cool, that says something cool. Middle-aged vlogger. You and your woman have done, you're doing something, right, that, that very few people have the courage to do. Me and my friend have the courage to do it, but, you know, but we're doing That's this. That's because we're crazy. Right? Because we're crazy, yeah. Right? We're doing this. I mean, I, I said this last night. I thought about it for days. You know what I'm saying? I, and my anonymous friend said this. You know what? I, I told him last night. I said, you're right. You see, what are you, what are you talking about? I said, you're right. I said, right now. But the way we have our shit, the way we, we're set up right now. Right? If I had a pannier rack and one Ortley bag, and you had a pannier rack and one Ortley bag. I have a rack. Right. You just need a set of bags and another twenty dollar rack. We're yeah. good to go. And, right? We could we could stock up on food and we could go anywhere we want. And this is the beauty of that situation. We could take our time getting there. We want to go to Reno. It's only a couple of the three days ride from here. We could take a week and fucking go into the woods. We could make videos. We could play with the squirrels. We could do whatever the fuck we want because we know that we're gonna get to Reno. We want to go to Portland, Psh, couple of weeks, dude, it might take us a month. It's not, if we're going to go, now's the time to go because, dude, in a few months, Portland ain't going to be attainable in the middle of fucking their winter. Well, but we need more reindeer. We need more reindeer, we need a few more clothes, right? We need a little bit more. But we can, that's the beauty of, that's the beauty of the simple life. That's the beauty of this, of being this kind of a person. Somebody else asked another question, is it cheaper to be a vegan? I made that video, but you know what? That was a generalized video. Here, I'm going to tell you what it is. Is it cheaper to be a vegan? Well, you know what? So far in like three, four days, three days, we've spent $20 between the two of us eating. And half of that, half of the food that we've eaten, we've found. Right? So what do you think? Is it cheaper? You guys, you guys spent twenty dollars on the fixes to make fucking enchiladas. Yeah, and we're eating four times the calories that you are each. Right, every day. and we're eating two or three times a day. You guys spent twenty bucks making fucking manicotis. Something that is terrible for you. Uh, how do I know? Because believe me, I've eaten plenty of manicotis. Yeah, and we've eaten plenty of fifty-dollar Taco Bell $50 runs. Fifty-dollar Taco Bell runs. Right? Yeah, yeah, we've done that. You understand? So. Is it cheaper? Hell yeah, it's cheaper. Is it more healthy? Hell yeah, look at me. Dude, this, this ain't fat right here. Right? It's implants. Yeah. <laughs> implants. This ain't fat right here. Uh, implants. Um, has it changed? Is, is, am I stupid? Do I sound like I'm stupid? You're gonna have a stroke. Do I look like I'm gonna have a fucking stroke? I rode this beat up piece of a shit bike over three fucking mountains and one of them was 4,000 feet up from 78 feet above sea level. Do I look like I'm gonna have a fucking stroke? A stroke of genius or luck maybe. In two months I'm gonna be 59 years old. I feel way more better today than I did when I was 39. So, since I've been blabbing now for probably about a half hour. 18 minutes. Huh? Only 18 minutes. 18 minutes? Shit. See, you see the time flies when you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to conclude this little tirade. There you go. It's something that my grandfather fucking taught me a very long time ago. Because my grandfather was a very, very large, influential man in my life. Uh, he's the one that, that, that instilled some of these ideas with me. But this is what he told me. He told me, boy, one day, that when some of the stuff that I've told you, or I've taught you, or I've tried to teach you, or I've tried to get you to understand, is going to make sense to you. It might not make sense to you now, or it might not make sense to you when I'm teaching it to you, or when I'm yelling at you, or when I'm giving you a whooping. But remember, I gave you a whooping for a reason. He said, so, one day, some of the stuff that I tried to teach you is going to make sense to you. But you know what, Grandpa? That day came. 